Oh, my hearties, a very, very good morning to you. It is just me, Scotty McClure, the world's top broadcaster and the first lord of the internet, popping up just to say hi to every single one of you. Welcome, welcome, welcome to our broadcast this morning. Excellent stuff. Lovely to have you with us, of course. And um, I hope that you'll be all joining us as the morning goes on to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10, to tell 10 about Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you. There's Gordon Robertson and Gordon Ritchie, two Gordons. Hello yet again, Scotty. Hello, Gordon Robertson. Hello yet again to you, you top man. I wondered if you wanted to be my resident grammarian, Gordon. Morning, Scotty. This is Tony Mac. Morning, Tony. Dinky do, lovely to have you with us. Fred Walton's watching. Excellent, Fred. Down in the south there, the north of England, actually. Karim Sakaraya has joined us. Excellent. Good morning, Karim. I hope you're all well. I'm looking forward to hearing your stories this morning. What's happening with real people and real lives? Very important. The news is one thing. You guys are another. We guys are another. Excellent stuff. Now then, bit of uh, public service broadcasting for you, of course. Ian Kerr's watching. Dinky do, dinky do. Scotty McClure, how are you? Says Kareem. I'm excellent, Kareem. Looking forward to another wonderful stream. Yesterday was very, very good. Good morning, sir, says Anto Jondu. Anto Jondu, good morning to you, sir. Good morning from Bonnie Paisley, says Peter Garvin. Excellent, we like Paisley. Hi, Scotty, please say hello to Don Stephen, the funeral directors in Ireland, Gordon Ritchie. Dinky do, we will say hello to them. Dinky do, Scotty, I hope you're doing well, says Carol Morris. Well, we're doing as well as we can, I say. Tony Bamford, good morning. I think that this program should be going out on national radio on national television. So there we are, public service broadcasting, but it's entirely up to you guys. You're the ones that pay your license fees. Uh, Rab Hill is watching Dinky Doo. I pay mine as well, of course. So there we are. Kevin Stewart, welcome, 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 I say. Scotty McClure saying Dinky Doo to every single one of you. John Jones is watching. Good for you, John. Excellent. Uh, can we get sharing early on, guys? I think that makes a difference. All right, Scotty, I hope you're okay, says Rab Hill. Absolutely, Rab. Better for hearing from you. I'm not a grammarian. I'm a vulgarian. But I mind my P's and Q's on here. I'm guessing you know the origin of P's and Q's. Yes, I do. But I would love if you told the nation. So there we are. There's a good one. Your P's and Q's. Excellent stuff. And your T's and P's is another one. That's from the engineering background. Do you know what that one means? Mind your T's and P's. Yes, there we are. Uh, some of our engineers will come on and tell us. Oh, there I am. I'm just going to share, guys. If you can all keep doing the same right away to every single person you know on social media, on Facebook, on every other platform as well. Good morning, Scotty, says the wonderful Kevin Stewart. Good morning, Kevin. Lovely to have you with us. And dinky do. Dindy do, says John Jones. Predictive text, John. I understand. Don't panic. There we are. Sharing now. Excellent stuff. I had a bit of a wizard wheeze this morning I'm going to tell you about. Um, I don't know if you were part of the big clap for carers last night. Um, although I'm not sure how much the carers need, uh, you know, but um, from that point of view. But uh, yes, the clap for carers. Um, strange, uh, strange hashtag there. Um, what I was thinking was with Prince Charles testing positive, the Prince of Wales, the heir to the throne, testing positive for uh, coronavirus, um, would this be an appropriate time to redesignate the National Health Service, the Royal National Health Service? Yes, the RNHS, and this would raise the whole profile in everyone's psyche. You know, so just a thought. Tell us what you think about it, though. The Royal National Health Service. Have you ever been to Oban? If so, what do you think of it, Scotty McClure? Kareem Zachariah, I am a specialist on Oban. A wonderful, 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 remarkable place. Um, a place that used to have a huge 
fishing fleet. I'm trying to think how many thousand boats it had. Three piers, of course. You had the railway pier, and you had the north pier, and the south pier. Is that correct? And you've got McCaig's Folly, called after uh, John McCaig, who was a banker in Oban, and he worried about uh, stonemasons being out of work. So he got them to build McCaig's Folly, which has similarities to the Colosseum in Rome, and you'll see it up on the hill above Oban. Great views from Pulpit Hill, of course. And then uh, you've got, uh, have you ever been? To yes, yes, yes. You've got uh, the Balachan Ree. That's the big hill that goes up and down outside Oban, the Balachan Ree. And if you look over to um, Kerara, I think it is, there's a memorial on Kerara. And Kerara, uh, I think that memorial is either to David McBrain or to his uncle David Hutchison, who brought all the steamships to Oban and opened up the West Highland routes, hence McBrain's. And there used to be a take on one of the, the Sam's, the earth belongs unto the Lord and all that it contains except the Western Islands, for they are all McBrain's. And it was a wonderful integrated transport system because you could um, get connections from railways to the railway boats, the Caledonian Steam Packet Company, and you could get connections by bus to uh, David McBrain's. Fantastic stuff. Royal Mail steamers. They carried the mail. They had the franchise for the mail. Uh, so there you are, just back from scattering my mum's ashes in the Highlands. A lot of the Highland people don't want tourists because of the coronavirus. What do you think? Well, I think it makes complete sense. I mean, I'm sorry uh, that you had to make that trip, but a lovely thought, and your mum would have very much appreciated that, Tony. Well done, you. Um, so there you are. Always a tough time scattering ashes, but uh, a wonderful service for the person who's left us. And, uh, and gone heaven side. So, um, but from the point of view of uh, people going to the Highlands, they don't have the infrastructure to cope, especially as a lot of hospitals have been closed. We're talking about Oban there. Oban, if I remember, had three hospitals. They had the West Highland Hospital. They had the Chest Hospital. They had um, Dallantart, the old folks' home. Um, what else have we got there? Um, but th there was another one as well. What was the other hospital? Was it the general? Was it open general, I wonder? Uh, anyway, all that will come back to me, but three hospitals, and then suddenly they're down to one. And, of course, if you... Uh, I can remember my cousin stayed in Tobermory in Mull, and she had to be taken over by the Loch Bui, which doubled as an ambulance launch. The Loch Bui, one of McBrain's little launches that served the Western Isles, and uh, she was taken over to the West Highland Hospital to get her appendix removed. So there you go. Wonderful. And uh, I always remember the mate on the Loch Brewery brought down a lovely mug of tea for my uncle. Um, they were, hi, dude, says Tony Bamford. Hi, Tony. Dinky-doo, enjoying all your stuff, by the way. I'm maxed at the moment, but I'll get down to sorting that out at some point. Morning, Scotty, says Gary Walsh. Good morning. Alistair King's watching. Lovely to have you with us, Alistair. Dinky-doo from kangaroo country. Melanie Gilmer is watching in Oz in Australia. Is this not fantastic, guys? This is where broadcasting's at. So there we go. I hope that answers your question. And then you've got Ganavan Sands. You can get the ferry to Tobermory. You pass Duart Castle, the home of the McLean clan. Uh, Josh says, hello. Dinky do, Josh. Lovely to have you with us. Gordon Robertson, what are you up to? Pints and quarts. Mind your P's and Q's. Your pints and quarts. What's T's and P's? Have you got that one, Gordon? There's a wee taster for you. Uh, Jonathan McAllister's watching. Good morning, Scotty. A very special dinky do to everyone watching. My on my pages, Cameo and Cameo. Excellent name for it. I would like a wee cameo there. Oh, Cameo and Cameo Club, both sharing the great show. Excellent, Fred Walton. I thank you. In fact, talking of sharing, what are we playing at? 
I must share and so must you. This is something we must do. Why is it something we must do? Because we are enjoying Scotty McClure saying dinky do. There we are. I'm a poet that didn't know it. Dinky do, says the wonderful Christopher O'Neill. Dinky do to you, Chris. Lovely to have you with us. Welcome, 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 everyone, this morning to our broadcast. Um, now, if we're going to make this a regular thing, I don't know if I'll be popping up over the weekend, but if we're going to make this a regular thing, what features would you like to see introduced? Because I can see people putting off televisions and radios and joining us here on Scotty McClure's live stream on Facebook Live, because this is where it's at. And I'm not blowing any trumpets, as I say, as the saying goes, but I can promise you nothing else on television or radio or the internet will touch this for being different, right? For being what we like. Excellent. And you guys can shape it. You know, I don't mind. I do not mind if we shape the show to suit us. But there needs to be lots of sharing. So sharing and shaping, shaping and sharing. Scotty, I'm in Calvin's side, so I clapped for private health care. Just joking, says Gordon. Yes, very good, Gordon. A wee merry jeep. I'm not sure that we don't want a lot more merry jeeps, to be quite honest, you know. And uh, I thought of one yesterday, and I thought, no, maybe it's not the best thing to say, but it was a cracker. I come out with some beauties to the extent that I've even made myself laugh on occasion, especially if I haven't heard it before. Melanie Gomer, I loved Oban. Yes, put in your tuppence worth about Oban, folks. Do you know the Balachan Re? There we are. Ricky Martin, Dinky Do, did you clap for the NHS last night? I clapped and clapped and clapped and clapped, Josh, for the NHS. Fantastic stuff. So there you go. Now, um, what we would have done in days gone by when I was on Scott FM right across central Scotland, Scotland's finest radio hour, I can remember one morning there was a hold up on the main motorway connecting Glasgow and Edinburgh, Edinburgh and Glasgow, the M8, and it was, it was totally at a standstill. And people were getting very, very anxious and very stuck and very bored and very late and everything was thrown out. But they were all listening, virtually all listening, to me on Scott FM, to the Scotty McClue Show. And I'll tell you how I knew that. I had a caller phone me. He said, hi, Scotty, we're all stuck in the M8. Thank goodness for your show. We're enjoying it. I said, "If can everybody who's stuck in the M8 toot their horn? And all you had was this cacophony. Beep, 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 beep. They were all listening to Scotty McClue on Scott FM, and that was fantastic. So everybody stuck in the waterway, hooting and tooting. And um, this is slightly different because you, you don't get it in your car. You can get it on your phone. Uh, Steve Wilkie's watching. Dinky do, Steve. Lovely to have you with us. George Boyd. Ricky Martin says, good morning, Scotty. And Robert Rovers. Morning, Scotty. Morning, Robert. I'm just about to share, guys. I'm just going to put that we're live now. Live now. Join us. Big style. What about that? Join us big style. We'll put that on. Big style. There we are. Excellent. Right. That's gone out to the big Scotty McClue page. About 6,000 of you now. Guys, I've got a massive queue at the moment for friendship requests for this page. Can you uh, uh, follow the page as well? And can you follow the big Scotty McClue page? You'll see there's about almost 6,000 people have followed it. If you can follow it as well. And this one, if you all follow, will hit 4,000. That's 10,000 plus there's another five pages with maybe 5,000 between them. So that gives us 15,000 um, live here on Facebook for Facebook Live. So there should be no excuse for not watching Scotty McClure, but we do need to tell everybody. Scotty, is the subject of eggs as a breakfast boiled, poached, or scrambled? Christopher O'Neill, 
I'm putting this to the nation, to several nations, because people are watching in Canada and America and Australia and New Zealand right now. So what we can say is, can we have feedback on the right way for you to do eggs for breakfast? All right, there we go. Gordon Stirling's watching. Wonders shall never cease. Good to have you with us, Gordon. And uh, let me know if you uh, hear a gardener. Boom, 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 boom. Uh, ah, good morning, Scotty. Dinky do, says the wonderful Alistair King, one of our top motor engineers. Christopher O'Neill says, stay indoors at all costs, but come out for the clap. Oh, we don't want that again. Uh, dinky do, good man. So there we are. Uh, Ricky Martin says, McBrain's coaches were instantly recognisable in their red and green livery. You are a 100% correct. Red and green. And can you remember what they had on the side of them over the red bit? So there you go. I'll give you a hint. They had McBrain's in gold. Kevin Stewart, I am Scottish and quite clever. Does that mean I use my McBrains a lot? Oh, you funny, funny man. Yes, everybody who's Scottish is quite clever. They just don't all know it yet. So they need to listen to a lot more Scotty McClue. Dinky do. Gordon Sterling, can we have a clap for the hedge fund managers? I'll have a think about that. I was just about to start clapping. I told you I have a hedge fund and uh, it cuts down the beach once a year and we're looking at a little bit more for the capricious. Guys, I could not be more honoured in this broadcast. Bill Steele is watching and Bill Steele is one of our finest broadcasters. So there you are. A lot of you will have heard Bill Steele's voice and perhaps not realized it, if you were a viewer to ITV in the Northeast, uh, Time Tees, Bill Steele was one of the great stalwarts. If you listened to Century Radio in the Northeast, Bill Steele was one of the great stalwarts. And uh, I'm a huge fan. Bill, thank you for watching my show. I feel very privileged and I feel even more humble than usual. Fantastic. We also have the wonderful Gordon Roddick Watches, who is uh, one of the transmission controllers, um, retired now, of course, from Scottish television, and uh, also a great announcer and newscaster. There we are. Quite clever. The clever you can't spell quite. Quiet clever. There we are. Morning from Cowden Beast, says Joke Knox. Joke. Good morning, Joke. Lovely to have you. Remember people used to say, would you like to hear a dirty joke? <laughs> joke the Coleman. <laughs> that was that was the kind of where it was at, you know. That's how innocent we were in my youth. Maury Morris, says Christopher O'Neill. Share, share, share. When McClue's talking, the whole world should be watching. The whole world's rocking when McClue is talking. And I am talking, but I'm not out walking because of the coronavirus. So there you go, dinky do. Oh, now, if you TikTok, get on to TikTok, right? TikTok, if you know what's going on there, look up at Scotty McClue and share and share and share the coronavirus rap that I've got a lot of bother doing. Uh, it lasts 15 seconds. So there you are. Stephen Mooney, Dinky Doo, Michael Cracknell, Dinky Doo. Lovely to have you. Do you think we should report people breaking the rules in the lockdown? What rules were you thinking about, Tony Mac? The lovely Susan Forrest is watching. Mwah! Good morning, Susan, down in Lancashire. A great uh, Red Rose radio listener. Um, at, uh, at the time I was on Red Rose Radio. Is that not fabulous? How's that for loyalty? How about a name that tune quiz? We have to guess the name of the tune you play on the box. Well, Gordon, as you know, the way I play the box, the nation could be struggling. So there we go. Excellent stuff. Excuse me, a wee second. 
We come for break? No. Excellent. Right. Can we have more sharing, guys? I'm very anxious that we um, neglect our sharing. And, of course, this whole stream depends on you and on the sharing. I do a lot of streaming on uh, YouTube Live, and I did one last night, and I had to say to the viewers, look, I know that sometimes it's funny for people to say, let's see if we can muck this up or annoy this guy or upset him or something. I said, that's not what Scotty McClue's about. We're all in it together. You don't have to like me, but you do have to love me. You see? And the thing is, when I um, you know, was doing national radio, people would say, I can't stand him. Uh, you know, and I hate's a very strong word, but they actually said they hated Scott McClue. But they all listened. They were huge fans. They loved Scotty McClure. And everybody loves Scotty McClure, but you don't have to like me. Okay? So there we are. So that's what I'm saying, but we all pull together and make the stream good for us. Yes? How about uh, the name that tune quiz? Well, that's a goodie. Of course, you've got to watch with the music with the old copyright. Uh, the wonderful Billy Carvel. Good morning, Scotty. Can't wait for Sunday. We lose an hour of self-isolation. Good one, Billy. Love your thinking. You do the math. Wally Logan's watching. Dink you do Wally. Alan A. Clark is watching. Nathan Lugay. Good morning, Scotty. Hope you're well. Very well, Nathan. Thank you. I'm just going to do another share, guys, if you don't mind. I'm going to keep the sharing going. I'm going to share to the Scotty McClue group. There's the wonderful David Fleming. Good morning, Scotty. Dinky do. I wonder if you're the David Fleming I think of. He was a chum of mine when we were tiny. So there we are. Top man. Uh, El Salvador. Stallione. Save your morning, Scotty. Um, I'm doing my nebulizer. You keep nebulizing, my boy. You take great care of you because you are precious. Yes. Good folk are always scarce. Now. Uh, share to a page. Uh, now, wait a minute. I want to share to a group, guys. And I need to share to the story as well. And if you could all do the same, everybody on the internet, whatever you're on, all your platforms, get sharing and sharing and sharing. Here we go. Right. Share on the timeline. So we're sharing to a group. So I'm just going to get that going right now. There we are, sharing to the group. And pardon me, I'll share to the Scotty McClue group. Yes, up that pops. That's excellent. Scotty McClue fan group. We've got about almost 3,000 of you on there, folks. So, uh, you know, it takes a while to build up um, live now. And follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue, if you're a Twitterer, because 4,000 have already. Go on to the Scotty McClue website, wwwscotty McClue.com, and what you've got on there is um, 10 million people. How's that for a footfall? I wish it, wish it was a shop I owned. <laughs> right, live now. There we go. Excellent. Right, so there we are. Fabulous stuff. Um, George Waddle's watching, Dinky Do. George, lovely to have you with us. Shamsur Raymond Katak is watching. Shamsur, good morning. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, Gordon Robinson, I put my eggs into steamer. So basically, they end up boiled. You steam your eggs. Are you serious, Gordon? Are you working me from the back? I ask you. A clansman, Ricky Martin. Fantastic. On the side of a McBrain's bus was the Klansman with a big targe, a big shield, and a broadsword holding it up. Yes, McBrain's for the Highlands. Wonderful stuff. That was the catchphrase. Uh, Stephen Mulgrew's watching Dinky Do. Uh, Gordon Robertson, did you know Clem Ashby, who used to announce on STV? I did know Clem, yes. I used to see Clem in the canteen at uh, STV. And I think Ricky Fulton called round to pick 
clam up the day he died. So there we are. And he came out and he said to Kate, Kate Matheson, his wife, who was also uh, an STV announcer. And uh, Ricky said to Kate, Clem's dead. Um, you know, we'll need to get the police. She said, you run in and get Clem. And he, he went and knocked the door and Clem had gone. Lovely man. So there we are, Clem Ashby around for a long time. Michael O'Halloran. Gordon Roddick would know Clem extremely well. Sorry, Chris, senior moment, says Kevin Stewart. I need to go to the shops for milk, says Kareem Zachariah. Now that's allowed, Kareem. What the lovely person who's putting up with everybody in our shop, he said to me yesterday, if you could just put your bag down on the counter and um, step back behind the line. And then he did all the stuff, and then he stepped back, and I um, swiped my little card. So there we are. It was just for some bread and milk. But you have to keep going, don't you? So there we go. Uh, no one upsets our Scotty, says Brian Hall. Quite right, Brian. You know, it's a piece of nonsense, but the boys... No harm to them. They thought that because the stream was so novel, you just went on and were cheeky and rude and all that sort of stuff. And then they realized that this was a valuable asset and they've calmed it down. I also have Skype. <coughs> Pardon me, don't worry about the cough. I've had it for 20 years. The rules about not leaving your house except for shopping, exercise, hospital appointments and caring for a vulnerable person. Yes, well, you would need to check that somebody didn't come into that category. So there we are. Uh, did you see the juniors live last night? Did you see juniors live last night, Scotty? We were baking again. Brideys and sausage rolls, all homemade. Alistair King, I saw them. In fact, I think I gave the post a love. I like to give most of my posts a love, and that's the very cheeky Morning, Scotty McClure, says Wally Logan. I hope you're well, my man. Absolutely, Wally. You too, la. Guys, we need another massive share. Sorry about this. We wouldn't have to do this on the radio because everybody would know it's on, but people don't know it's on if you don't share it. So there we are. Like staying at home to stay safe for the coronavirus, we start sharing so that everybody knows about Scotty McClue's live stream just for you, dinky do. World Stop Broadcaster, First Lord of the Internet, and the world's most humble man. That's me. Zai Ki Tang. Zai Kai Tang is watching. Zai Kai Tang. How are you? And dinky do. Kevin Stewart's there. Thomas Hamilton. Good morning, La. Share. Thanks, Tom. John Crossland. I wonder how the drop bums are getting on in Barnsley. Yes, we used to say that Barnsley ladies, their bottom was an inch lower than the national average. They used to do their nut, the mammals not well. Oh, that's Scotty McGlue. Fred Walton, in the hour we lose on Sunday is the hour set aside for exercise so we can have a rest. There we are. Well, I walk from uh, my bedroom to the studio at McClue Towers. That's how I'm so fit. There we are. That's why I look so well. How can you report them, though, if you're not breaking the rules? How would you know? Yes, Tony, come on. How would you know? Would you go up to them and say, excuse me, are you breaking the rules? Scotty, do you watch Outlander? I just got through four seasons of it since Monday. After you getting on the fifth, it's hard being off Outlander. I could have been in Outlander. I used to get offers through, but I was so maxed. I'm very, very maxed, but I'd love, you, you know, you can't live in all the houses. You can't drive all the cars. You can't do all the jobs. You can't be in everything. But I'm an enthusiast, and I would have enjoyed, um, you know, a wee cameo role in something like Outlander, you know. Uh, Scott Hunter's watching Dinky Doo. Wonderful David Fleming. Can you give a shout out to my wee boy Reese, please, Scotty? Much love from Carden Den in Fife. Dinky Doo. I know Carden Den. Is that not where there's a big sign that says football traffic bear left or something or bear right? 
I can't remember coming through Carden Den in Fife. Remember seeing a lovely house in Carden Den? I thought, that looks beautiful. Good morning, Scotty, and a kiss mwah, from Susan Forrest. Good morning, Susan. Mwah, and a kiss back to you. Jim McGeeney, good morning from Wishaw, Scotty. Wishy. Sandy McConnell, good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Sandy. More sharing, more sharing, guys. We need to keep the sharing going. Share, share, share. I'll share to the story. Share to your story. It goes public. Ooh, the public might see. James Allison's watching. Moira Chico's mum is watching. Chico is um, a spaniel, by the way. Is he a cocker or a springer? I think he's a cocker spaniel, isn't he, Chico? And that's Chico's mum. That's the cocker spaniel. So mum, she looks after Chico. Chico sounds fabulous. Scotty McClure, I'm away at the shops. I look forward to your Sunday night pop-ups and your Monday morning pop-up. Kareem Zachariah, good luck. God bless you. Peace. And um, I hope all goes well for you. Uh, enjoy the shops and stay safe. There we are. That's our wonderful Kareem. Do you remember your Lob One Out campaign from the Hallam FM days? John Crossland, yes, we did it on national radio. This was when a lady had been pilloried for breastfeeding on a bus. And McClue really empathized with this. And I thought, this is our next generation. And we are giving them nutrition. Ladies should have license to lob one out everywhere. So there you are. So we want to feed your wane. It should become a part of society. We need to drop all this prudish nonsense. So somebody says, what's she doing? Feeding her wane. Rocking her wane to sleep. There you go. Fantastic. And uh, Tony Mack, good to see Boris Johnson applauding the NHS for the amazing work they're doing. I hope they'll make the government appreciate the NHS and not privatise it, which would go against the NHS. Uh, what the NHS is, free health care for all at the point of need. Do you know, I had a thought this morning, Tony, and I'm going to put it to the world. See what you all think. With Prince Charles testing positive, the Prince of Wales, the heir to the throne, testing positive for the coronavirus, would this be a good time to give, um, you know, royal uh, prefix to the NHS and get the profile up, and then no government would dare privatise it. Do you know what I mean? And call it the Royal National Health Service. So what do you think? The Royal National Health Service. And health is devolved in Scotland, so that would be the Royal Scottish National Health Service. The RSNHS. Tell me what you think. I think that would be a, a belter. Uh, Alistair King, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10, tell 10 about Scotty McClure saying dinky do to every single one of you on Facebook Live. Absolutely. Gary McClure, Alan Hall and Alistair all watching there. I took my daily exercise yesterday with the dog up to the woods. I saw loads of people in close groups on the walk not paying attention to the restrictions. They are very, 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 very selfish, thoughtless people. They're bordering on idiocy because if we all observe the staying in rule, we could cut down the spread of this massively. You know, if you go out, you could infect 460 people or if you stay in, uh, you could cut that down to 15 or below. Unfortunately, that might not work. Look what they did to Royal Mail. Ah, good point, Kevin Stewart. I take that point. Very fair. Good point, well made. It's not often McCrew says that. Uh, the Royal Health Service. Do you think any member of the Royals would happily bet Dune and the old REH for a night? I don't see why not, Willie Logan. Um, you know, because... Uh, the health service is the health service. It's pretty excellent, even with all the cutbacks that we've had over the last 15 years. So, uh, you know, good, good stuff. So I don't see why the Royals wouldn't be happy. I mean, Prince Charles 
got tested on the NHS, as far as I understand. So there we are. He's paid into it. They're very welcome. Peter Connolly's watching. Dinky do. Scotty McClure saying good morning to every single one of you. Exactly. I haven't been out in a week with the exception of walking the dog. I'm taking no chances. No, and when I meet people, Alistair, I'll greet them because I quite often know them. So I'll give them a wave and say, how are you coping? Shouting across the road or across to the other side of the street. I don't want to feel like something out of the Good Samaritan. But, um, you know, that sort of idea. Um, but uh, I'll cross the other side of the street to give them space. Manners, again, putting the other people first. So there we go. Now, more sharing. Can we have a general share? So everybody just click their share and share to whatever groups you're a member of. Tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McGrew's pop-ups, 10 o'clock till 11 in the morning. Do you like the pop-ups? Are you enjoying? Do say, feel free to say, I need your feedback. Okay. And all the rest of it. I don't have any ego to feed, so you can rest assured about that. But I do need your feedback. <coughs> Pardon me. Don't worry about the cough. 20 years. Gordon Robertson's asking, which do you prefer, a Windows PC or an Apple Mac? I've, I've no experience of an Apple Mac, so I've always had a Windows PC. So I might as well say that, Gordon. But uh, I believe Apple products are excellent. Um, so there you are. I hear very, very good feedback. Also, Android or iPhone. Well, I have an Android phone. And I've always broadcast on, uh, on Android phones uh, and things like that. So I don't really know anything about the iPhone. I know that I was very, very short of pennies when I bought my last phone. So I had to go for as cheap a phone as I could, but somebody said the camera in this is excellent. So there you are. Uh, Kisses Mrs. Mac for Take the High Road. Is that lust or loss? Oh, very, very good. The wonderful Mrs. Mac, Gwyneth Guthrie, yes. Um, I wonder how she's getting on. Enjoying from Perth, Western Australia, a former Hallam FM listener. Says the wonderful Lee Marsden. Lee, lovely to have you with us. Shared, says Alistair King. Excellent, Alistair. Thank you for that. <clears throat> there we are. That's just using my voice too much, folks, if you're wondering. I use my voice a lot professionally, even when I'm not broadcasting. So it's had, somebody said, um, you know, something about my voice. And I said, well, it's had 50,000 hours of use since you last heard it, you know? Fantastic. And as any actor or performer will tell you, your voice hopefully will last you the length of your lifetime. The USA now taking over from China with over 85,000 cases. Still, Trump thinks he can relax lockdown by April. No chance. I'm very, very surprised at Trump. I know how he works, and he loves to grab a headline. Now, this will grab a headline, and they say there's no such thing as bad publicity. But I think putting the health of the American people at risk is as near as you can get to bad publicity. So there we are. David Diston, DD, is watching. Scotty, I've now been working 70 hours a week in the past six months. I'm in the house full-time, my wife and daughter. We turned off the TV last night and had a good chat. They seem like nice people. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> That's what the guy said. I haven't spoken to my wife for 30 years. <laughs> it says, it's not that I don't love her, I just don't want to interrupt her. You need Harry Scotty or not? Toddy, says Melanie. I don't do the uh, Toddy's Melanie. I'm absolutely fine. I just, I've had a cough since I stopped smoking 20 years ago. 
Uh, but I had even worse when I, when I was smoking. I can tell you that. But I had to get through three-hour programs. And that's why I'm very, very big on getting rid of tobacco. And um, I don't I don't drink, so I wouldn't have a hot, a, a hot toddy. But there's actually nothing wrong with me. It's just I use my voice so much. So there we are. But honey is lovely. I'll have some honey. In fact, I might have a hot honey and lemon just because it's a very pleasant drink. So there we go. We'll look at that. And um, more sharing. Share. Share. Share, share, share. Share, 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 share. Uh, share in public. We'll give it a share, actually. Back up just to let everybody know that we're on. So that's been shared. That's gone on to the old timeline again. So if you see it a few times appearing, don't worry. No problem. And uh, what we'll do, I'll share to share to one of the big groups, guys. I think I'll share to Scotty McRae's page. That's always good. So there's about three or four Scotty McRae pages. There's Dinky Doo. There's another big one called Scotty McRae, which is the page. So there we are. That's actually the page. So this is Scotty McRae, global radio and television presenter. And I'll put live... Now, there we are. And send that off. That goes off to that page. Wonderful. And uh, not seen the wee fox lately, Scotty? No, Alistair. I don't know what the setup is. I saw a lovely thing that the BBC had shared on Facebook with little fox cubs taken into the, um, the RSPCA. I think it was, or the vets or whatever. And there were these gorgeous little things. Foxes are very beautiful. When I was young, seeing a fox was a very, 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 very rare occurrence. And it was only if you were out hill walking, you sometimes heard a rustling of bracken higher up the hill from you. And if you looked up, you would see something move and it was a fox. And the only other time you would see a fox is if it was dead. And then I remember going to a local lecture in a place called Greenock in Scotland. And a guy was saying, um, he was a doctor that was giving the lecture. Sorry, um, the postman, yes, he was a doctor that was giving the lecture. And a postman had stopped him and said, Doctor, you're a great one for wildlife. Is it possible I could have seen a fox at five o'clock one morning in West Black Hall Street in Greenock. West Black Hall Street is the central street of the town of Greenock. And um, he said, yes, yes, it is possible. He said, they're becoming urban now. Now that might be the better part of 45 years since I attended that lecture. In the last 45 years, the foxes also tame. I quite often, when I was walking Old Lord Reith the Labrador, uh, less so this one, but uh, the foxes would just walk after us. Then he would stop outside the house and go, I, I, I know you live in there, I can smell you. Not that I smell, but you know what I mean? To a fox, they would be able to spot me a mile off. And um, it would wait outside until I went and got a wee dog biscuit. And then it would come and take the dog biscuit. There's, if you look up, a wee visitor to McClue Towers on YouTube. You'll see my fox. There we go. A wee visitor to McClue Towers. Scotty McClue, look at my nose shining away like uh, like the Mull of Kintyre lighthouse. <laughs> Michael Yule's watching. Billy Hunter's watching. Fantastic. How are we doing for time, guys? The time flies when you're having fun. Have you ever heard that? I'm just going to do another wee share, and then that's us. Um, so I'll share two. Share two, share two. And you all do the same, please, guys. Share. So this is going to one of the big groups. Excellent stuff. And as I say, if you can help, that's fantastic. Then I'll give you a bit of homework, a bit of housekeeping, um, just to check up. Now... Here we go. Uh, live now. Lovely. 
And this, as I say, is going to one of the big groups. I'm just going to share it. Timeline. Um, share in a group. Lovely. Are you all sharing? Sharing, sharing, sharing. And then I shall pop back. Um, the group will call it. Um, excellent. Right. There we go. Good. That's gone out to a massive group. Excellent. I'm just posting it. Hey! Right, excellent. So that's away. Sorry, Scotty, just up, says David Steele. No problem, David. What have you lot been up to when I've been talking there? As uh, Stephen Menzies, dinky do. Alistair King, yes, the fox. What's the difference between a Scottish sheep farmer and a Rolling Stones song? Oh, not too sure about that one, Kevin. So there we are. Yes. Now, what else have we got here? Stephen Menzies, Dinky Do, Michael Yule's watching, Billy Hunter, David Steele's watching. We know that because he's done just up. I'm glad to still do my radio shows during the coronavirus from my home. Many radio broadcasters have to work from and broadcast from home. The media plays an important part for many, many years. I have broadcast from home, Tony Mac. There we go. Scotty, I'm not a shrinking violet, but standing at the front door applauding our brave people on the front line with all my neighbours reduced me to tears, and I don't mind admitting it. Good for you, Peter. There's no problem. There's no reason why men can't weep. In fact, Ina Lamont Stewart wrote a play in the 30s called Men Should Weep. So there you are. Sorry, Scott here. Uh, I've seen them in the cities regularly scavenging food from bins as they're running out of their natural habitat fast. So they've no option. Thanks to the house builders. Alistair King, you're 100% correct. Somebody once said to me, they said, we're getting invaded by wildlife. I said, no, the wildlife have always been here. We're invading their habitat. And we should live together. The other thing is I'm getting a wee bit annoyed because there's some jays trying to break into my house to build a nest. James Cottons is watching. Alison just told me off. Sorry, Scotty. Quite right, Kevin. Yes, we don't have jokes like that in the morning. The young people are watching. We need to set an example. There we are. But uh, don't, don't stop trying to be a funny man. I mean, we need all that. We do need a cheery uppy. You've just got to whoo, think, think, think. You imagine if you're broadcasting, I have to. The speed of the comedy line is all, but I have to process it through my brain first before I say it to see that it's appropriate. Melanie Gilmer, we would go to Rothsey. We had a hut there and we'd catch hedgehogs. Are there many left? Not if you caught them all, Melanie. Um, one night I was out walking the dog in Sheffield. I was twice in Sheffield. And the first time I was down at Hallam FM. And the second time I was on Magic, uh, Magic Radio, fantastic stations. And um, I was walking the dog very late, and I heard this <laughs> in a hedge. And I thought, what on earth is that? It was a privet hedge, and I lifted up the bottom branches, and here were two tiny little hedgehogs foraging. Isn't that beautiful? Go out, mole, and forage. Does anybody know what that line's from? Go out, mole, and forage. There we are. Right, more sharing. I don't know. Your work's never finished on here, is it? For goodness sake. I'm not afraid of work, though I can share. Um, have never, what have we got here? Have never used my brown bin. I have a wee family of foxes that return, and the scrap food is either eat by them or the magpies. Yes, the magpies. Do you remember a great show on telly? Magpie. Um, one for sorrow, two for joy, three for a girl, and four for a boy. <laughs> don't mean this in a bad way Scotty but what about the clap for all the shop workers oh they don't want that again and keeping us fed and watered 
They're just as important as the NHS workers. I think everybody is important here. The royal family are important. The government are important. All the NHS, doctors, nurses, carers, porters, receptionists, all very, very important. All the shop workers, very important. The transport workers, very important. Everybody who's staying at home, very, very important. So there we go. How about changing the words of Baby Shark to Scotty McClue, do, 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 do. Very nice, yes. And uh, what have we got? David McClellan's watching. And verse two to Dinky Doo, do, 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 do. Gordon, nothing gets past you, does it? I don't know. What a smart guy. A Vulgarian. I hate hedgehogs. Why can't they just share the hedge? Kevin Stewart, you have recovered. You're back in the good books. Hmm, smiles. The halo, halo, halo. Wonderful stuff. Now, uh, more sharing. I'm going to put in capitals, are you watching Scotty McClue? There we are. I have to put a small C in here. As I say, someday maybe a rich person, when we've all recovered, will donate to me a computer that's fast. That's what I would like. A fast computer. There we go. Oh, wonderful. We're managing. I know this is not the best time when everybody's struggling, but if you do have a spare pound or fiver or anything like that, shove it into paypal.me forward slash Scotty McClue because it helps to get equipment. Do we be advertising on Facebook? So there we are. I've spent thousands and thousands on radio in my life, but I need a wee hand now, so that'd be great. Can you say thank you to all the truck drivers for all they do? Stuart Neely, a big shout out to the truck drivers. Who else would you like a shout out for? Put it down now or forever hold on to your peace. El Salvador Stallione Saviour, will do mate. I thank you, El Salvador Stallione Saviour. Look after you. So there we are. And uh, as much sharing as we can, guys. Very, very important. There it is there. There it's all coming up. I'll just do a refresh. Refresh the page. Great language, isn't it? When all this digital language came in, it was so strange, you know. This will disable cookies. Oh, no. I think this coronavirus, when it comes to an end, will make us all better people and kinder to each other. What do you think, Scotty? I do know, Tony, that just before we were all ordered home, the roads were a bit crazy. There was a few nutcases on the roads trying to get ahead. I remember going down the road, and it was 50 miles an hour, and a dafty shot past me, and he was making rude gestures. Or maybe he was saying there was... He wished there was two of them. And I thought to myself, what a silly person. And of course, I caught up with him like a minute later. And I gave him a wee toot and I said, it's 50. 50 is the limit, you know. All that sort of idea. And um, of course, if you're in the outside lane, they take, oh, undertake you on the inside and shoot back out trying to make a point. The point is, it's 50. You know, that was the limit, or 30, or 20. A guy once said, is there any way we can avoid police radar traps? And I said, yes, you can uh, do under 30 and a 30. You know, that's that's the best. It's very powerful, very effective. All the uh, Malcolm Logistics drivers, Stuart Neely, Dinky Dude, you know, Malcolm drivers have always been great supporters of Scotty McClure. And I've always been a great supporter of the Malcolm name. Excellent stuff. Well done to every single one of you. I can remember um, the drivers, when they were queuing up, they used to have some time and they were listening to the radio, and they would give me a quick buzz. And uh, they all had, um, I can't remember, but they all had nicknames. You know, can you say hello to a big, big Johnny and wee Willie and all that kind of stuff, you know? 
And uh, we used to say hello to them all on the radio. Tremendous. That's where radio wins because you can get it in the car. But if we can start getting people able to uh, watch the live streams on their phones, if you can all spread the word, then we are in business. It should certainly improve people's hygiene, all the hand washing, etc., personal space, rather than people pushing folks around. Absolutely, Alistair, snapping at your heels. Stephen Menzies, uh, Dinky Doo, wonderful to have you. Thank you to Stephen Menzies and all his colleagues on the Railway Networks. Fantastic. On Network Rail and, and uh, Scott Rail and all these different things. Thank you, thank you, thank you to all of you for keeping the rattlers going. There we are. So big thanks, thumbs up um, to all the rail workers. If you're a rail worker watching, give us a thumbs up. Kevin Stewart says, let's have a wee tune, Scotty. Uh, if you insist, but upon your head be it. I'll have to go soon anyway. Right. The box. <laughs> Are we ready? We'll devote this one to Prince Charles. <laughs> Did you like that? There we are. A wee tune in the box for you. Bit of nonsense. <laughs> Wonderful. What have we got here? Craig Potty's watching Dinky Doo. Thank you for that. That was a request from Kevin Stewart. We're happy to help keep vital supplies and workers on the move, says Stephen Menzies. We thank you, Stephen. We'll give you the clap. Yes. Scotty, just Bluetooth and listen when I'm working. I don't need to watch. John Jones, this is superb you've said this. Very, very fortuitous. I'll tell you for why. People are now putting off radio and television, going to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel and putting on old YouTubes. There's 700 of them there and just leaving them on when they're working and um, using it as radio or television. And I would highly recommend that because, guys, there's 700 wonderful pieces of video and audio sitting there for your information, education, entertainment, edification, and delight. And uh, you might as well use them well and wisely. So there you go. So get on Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, youtube.com forward slash user, forward slash Scotty McClue 1. Get yourself on there. Go on to Instagram. Great, so Stephen Menzies. Can you play bits and pieces? John Pollock, that was bits and pieces. Uh, well done, Scott Hayes, says Melanie. Charles Edward Stewart, the young pretender. Yes, a relative of yours, I suspect. Thanks for tuning us all up, making our day. Much love and respect, Scotty. Stay safe and well. My good radio buddy. Thank you, Tony Mack. My good radio buddy. You'll be going soon. So thanks for popping up. No bother, Gordon. Dinky doo. Joe McKee. Dinky doo. I'm going now. Right. I'll sing the goodbye song. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. Take care, everybody, as you go. Goodbye, everybody. A vitar zain au revoir and a cheery o. Taramalas. Take care of yourselves and stay in. Stay safe. Stay well. Keep it here. Keep it clear. Keep it dinky do just for you. Taramalas.